Hello and welcome to the Van Vort Qualifier Race for the Utica Home Track Series. We are at our second road course of the year and all these drivers on this list are in need of making the field. Now there's a couple new faces on this list and a couple of faces that we weren't expecting. But anyway, if you are on this list then you are currently not locked in to the Van Vort event. There is a total of nine spots available. So we will have to see who will go home with those nine spots going into this race. Now we have a little bit of pre-race news. Dylan Ogo's car is broken down on the starting grid. He is unfortunately not going to be able to run. But one of the cars that is running is Estavis Cortez, car number 86, who we thought was not going to race this year. He turns out he is. Him and Bob Cortez putting a team together, driving the 86 and the 86X respectively. He started outside pole to Austin Ogo right now and currently has the lead as we head through the beginning turns. But oh, it looks like we got a problem a little further back. Let's take a look at what happened here. Jerry Guerra runs wide. Decker, Smith, Guerra, and they all collide and Jerry Guerra's in the wall. And unfortunately Jerry Guerra is not going to be able to join his brother Nicholas who is locked in. Ron Borg, Muni Pesci making his first start since Kyle Lamy last year. And, oh, this is a shame for the Random Rappers car. That car is going to get overturned. And it looks like those drivers are not going to be able to make this race already. Alex DeMarco, car number 51, is currently in the show. And this driver is yet to make a start. So, if he stays in this top nine, looks like Alex DeMarco will be racing on Saturday. Alex DeMarco is a relatively new face to the sport. I haven't seen him around too much. And we're hoping that he can make a great debut if he can keep ahead. A couple cars go off to... Oh, Alex Tanker slides off the course. Here, let's take a look at another angle. Alex Tanker, car number 34. He's going to hit the grass there. He's going to get a little airborne, and that's the car just going to lose control of that. Oh, it plops into the wall, and he's on... Oh, I see Chris Kyle, too. Car number one, Chris Kyle, is also going to flip going off the turn. And both cars are going to head to the pits. Now we have a replacement driver, Joe Martin, running in place of Nicky Allen, who's having soldier, uh, sorry, um, shoulder surgery. Now Joe Martin, I don't know too much about, but uh, at the current moment, he is in the show, running fifth place on the racetrack. But uh, I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of thrown off by that huge wreck we just had with Alex Tanker and Chris Kyle. And it's a shame for both of them. Chris Kyle yet to make a start. Alex Tanker only made one start and it resulted in a horrible flip. Now this is a driver that has the entire racing world shocked. John said, you know, one of the candidates for the Phillips Cup Series Championship. A long time driver in the series and a past winner is currently not locked in. And he's asked to race his way in on time. And at the current moment, he's not locked in. He's several cars back, in fact. Right behind Nick Capps, the car number 18. So at the current moment, unless John Cedillo improves, that 72 car is going to miss his first race since the inaugural. A car just on the board and the car John Cedillo needs to beat is Matt Duell, who, along with Dylan White right behind him, has a huge lead over Cedillo and the rest of those cars. Matt Duell, he missed the Megville race and is hoping to redeem himself here today by getting himself into the show. But he has Dylan White to battle with. He's hoping that he can get by the 51 of Alex DeMarco to make sure he secures that spot in the race. Julian Kennebles Jr. has had bad luck the past two weeks. He's not been able to work his way into the race. This week might be an exception. He's currently in at the moment. Running well for the number 45 team. If he does make the race, this will be the first race of the season that all three JFI cars have made the show. As Jeffrey Finguy and Eliza Stewart are... No, sorry, not Eliza Stewart. Where did I get that from? Eris, Eris Shock are in the show. Julian Cannibalist Jr. having a great run so far. Not as good as road race ace Connor Atwood, who is currently not locked in, running right behind Ray Takeda in the number 13X. Now, Connor Atwood attempted the Megville Bull run, but failed to qualify. His 2012 limited schedule season seems to have been much better. He made every start. 
that time, but he did not have to deal with any qualifier races. Connor Atwood really struggling here today. If he does not make the show, then he will not get another chance next week. Brandon Patterson takes over for the speedway of Rockingham. There's Austin Ogo, car number seven, the Minecraft machine. This car is yet to make a start and is looking to do so now. Dylan Ogo is unfortunately not going to qualify. That car has had a mechanical issue on the starting grid. Austin Ogo can try and get in and see if he can lock himself in. It's still physically possible for cars to lock themselves in despite not racing yet. But he's going to have to have a really good race. The current moment he's running well, getting the pole random drawing for this race and current running in second. Nick Haps, car number 18, has been trying to race his way in so he can compete against his brothers, Dom and Dustin. But at the current moment, he has not had Lady Luck on his side. This car has been running pretty poorly, and he's been pretty upset about it. The 18 car has had bad luck in these qualifier events for the past two starts, and it looks like it's going to happen again. He's running just ahead of John Sedino, who is not going to make the race, and right behind Andrew Robinson, who probably will not make the race. Brian Benoit's currently not locked in, but Justin Benoit is at the moment. He's currently running ahead of Julian Kennebled Jr. Now, he had a disappointing run at Megville getting involved in a couple wrecks, as with the rest of the Benoit family, they had a miserable Megville. So, Justin Benoit hoping that Zanvoort fares him better, as we have our final of five laps for this qualifier event. Justin Benoit, the Star Wars car, just needs to keep it cool, and he will be in the show. A little further back is Vladimir Petrov, the Russian Road Race Ace, one of the many competitors for the Unicom Trick Series World Series, which was just announced uh, a couple days ago. Now, Petrov did not do well at Megville. He was unable to lock himself in there. So he's hoping that this run here will fare much better. He will not be in the car next week as Alex Allen comes back for the Speedway. He rounds the turn. We take a look at Dylan White, car number 11, who at the moment is just outside that top spot. I'm oh, sorry, that top nine. As Matt Duell is starting to pull away, I'm not sure if Dylan White will have enough to catch up to the 88 of Matt Duell. We'll have to see. They make their way through the final couple of turns. Brian Benoit and the rest of the pack are completely out of this. They do not have a shot unless these cars wreck. Dylan White, who made the race in Bristol, will not make it again. Establa Cortez crosses the line first, and Matt Duell's going to breathe a sigh of relief as he's going to be on the show along with the other seven drivers that are going to make this show. Now let's take a look at the nine that made it. Establa Cortez, Austin Elgo, Justin Benoit, Julian Cannibal Jr., Joe Martin, Bob Cortez, Vladimir Petrov, and Alex DeMarco. Several, several of these drivers are making their first career starts. But now let's take a look at the drivers that unfortunately will be going home this week. Dylan White, so close. Brian Benoit, not a good run. Ray Takuda, Connor Atwood, the road race aces. Andrew Robinson, Nick Capps, the biggest surprise, John Cedino, Willie Decker, Alex Tanker, Chris Kyle, Jake Smith, Muni Peskic, Jerry Guerra, and Dylan Ogo. All going to fail to qualify. I hope to see you for the full Zanvoort race, which is coming out on Saturday. Can't wait. Should be a great event.